Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do this video um, about biting because it seems like a lot of our clients are having trouble um, with puppies biting them. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and take this opportunity to use it as a training video. I have Nixie here with me um, and obviously she's going to be my test subject. She's a little crazy. We just had lunch. Um, so she's just being a crazy little puppy. Everybody else is outside. Um, so one thing that you want to make sure that you have, a um, couple things actually, um, is toys that are readily available. Um, you want to have something called a negative marker. What that is, is so that they understand um, that they're doing something wrong and they either need to try again or need to move on to something else. My negative marker with all of the dogs um, is an at sound. Um, it works well with the dogs, the husband, and the kids. So it works all across the board. Um, so one thing you want to make sure that you do is never allow your puppy to chew on you. Um, some people are like, oh, it's so cute. They're nibbling on me. Um, you know, but we want to make sure that there is nothing like that going on. Um, because if they can do it sometimes, then why can't they do it all the time? So you want to make sure that you have um, you know, that you don't allow that to happen. Another thing you want to do is make sure that you have a word for them, um, a command that you want them, that you want to use so that they understand. A lot of people just use the word no, um, and then no turns into no biting, no jumping, no barking, no chewing, no this, no that, and so it becomes obsolete. Um, you know, so I actually use leave it if they are chewing on me or chewing on something that they don't want or that you don't want them to chew on. Um, and so I'm going to try and get Nixie riled up um, and I'm going to show you how I deal with it. Um, and if I can't get her too riled up, um, then I'll just go through steps. Um, but it's easier when I have um, visual. So I'm going to try and put you guys down uh, and I'm going to try I'm going to try this. Nixie. Come here. She's laying on the bed now. Of course, I said she was being crazy. Ugh. Let's see if I can get her intrigued with the ball. Nixie. Go get it. Just go get it. Come here. I want you to do some stuff. Come here. Come here. I don't know. Are you tired now? You just worked out? Just worked out? So I'm going to try and roughhouse with her a little bit and see if I can get her Oh, good girl. See if I can get her going. Get ya. Get ya. Get ya. Get Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes to get them going, but she also knows that she can't, isn't supposed to bite on me. Come into the picture. I swear she's here. Let's see if I can get you going. Come on. I can get you riled up. I can get you riled up. Huh? Oh, just gonna get it. Get it, get it, get it. So I'm gonna put my hand in her mouth. All right. Good girl. Then I'm gonna come down and try and pet her, but now I got her riled up, so now she wants to bite me. I'm put my hand in her mouth again. Ah, ah. Good girl. You can't see her face in the video, but um, she's looking at me like, oh, am I supposed to be doing that? And when she lets go of my hand, I tell her she's a good girl. Put my hand in her mouth again. I good girl, good girl. So if they get too crazy um, and you just, you're down on the floor and you're playing with them and stuff, you can always give them a toy. I always keep a couple of toys. Um, off to the side where they don't get them all the time so that it's something to keep them interested in what you're doing. Um, so it's something that they can't have all the time. Good girl, can you get it? Uh-oh, this got stuck. It got stuck. It got stuck. It got stuck. Good girl. So I'm gonna give her my hand again. I, I. Good girl, and then I'm gonna give her the ball. Good girl. Good girl. And so she's gonna walk away with it. Another thing that you can do too is if they're too crazy, you can always, she's gone now over here to the bed. 
so I'm just gonna sit here and chew on my ball. Um, but another thing that you can do is stand up. You're a lot bigger than they are. Um, so you can always just stand up and stop the play session. Um, you can also, if it gets too out of control, you can always use your leash um, as a wonderful training tool. Um, the leash isn't always just meant for outside. You can use it inside um, as well so that you can control uh, the puppy's behaviors. So if the biting is getting too out of control, you can always just put them on the leash. And if you're trying to sit and watch TV or read a book or do some working, you can always keep them down on the ground and step on the leash so that they only have a little bit um, of um, space to kind of move around. Um, but I had mentioned this before, um, but one of the really, really good things with having a puppy is you have a lot of toys. So you can take certain toys and pick them up and put them in little brown paper bags and mark them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If the toys are down all the time, they get bored with them. They don't want to necessarily play with them because they're always readily available. But if you take things away from them and give them back, it's like they have a brand new toy. That ball hasn't been out in about four days and she's self-entertaining with the ball um, because she hasn't seen it in a while. So for her, it's new. Um, you know, you always want to make sure that you keep the biting under control. If you have any questions, please feel free to feel free to leave them in the comments um, and I'll answer them uh, as I see them. But, you, you know, like I said, if you can keep things new for them, that's great because it keeps them entertained. Puppies get bored. They get bored with the same things all, all the time. That's why they grab shoes. That's why they do, you know, phone chargers or chewing on the couch or different things like that because they don't have the stimulation that they need. When I'm at training, when I'm training with clients, I always tell them that a happy dog or a tired dog is a happy dog and a happy dog makes happy owners. But you have to do the work to make sure that they're tired all the time. That's mental stimulation and physical stimulation. So you wanna make sure that you have the ability to do training with them. Don't just teach them to sit and lay down and to come and different things like that. Obviously, that's the beginning part, and we're going to get into that um, in a couple of days. But I know that biting was a big problem for a lot of the people who just got puppies, so I figured it was a perfect opportunity to go ahead and make a video. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment, um, and I will answer as needed. Um, and in a couple of days, we'll go ahead and do a training video um, uh, with sit and then we'll cover down and then we'll do come when called and we'll start working on stay. When you start working on any new training thing with your dog, you want to make sure that there aren't other dogs around that you're inside so that the distractions are low. Once your dog is consistent with doing what they need to do, and what that means is 97% of the time they're doing sit every single time you tell them. Then you can start bringing in different distractions. Um, same thing with anything else whenever you're doing anything new. Um, but don't just teach them the basics. Teach them drop it. Teach them leave it. You can teach them cool tricks, giving paw or speaking or jumping through a hula hoop or learning how to weave in and out of poles. These are all things that can keep them men mentally stimulated. For the dogs that are old enough, walking and walking in the proper position is a wonderful way to tire your dog out mentally. She's now pawing at my shoe. Um, but a perfect way to um, mentally stimulate and tire your dog both mentally and physically because they have to use a part of their brain that they normally don't use so that they can stay beside you. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you're enjoying the rainy weather and I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.